This is a quick glance at NVIDIA Cosmos Predict. Using only text prompts, we can generate infinite amounts of training data for machine learning. Find links to all the details, including source code, in the video description. Originally, creating an object detection model would require us to go in the field, take thousands of pictures and label all of the objects of interest. In recent years, NVIDIA has perfected Omniverse, where we can recreate the objects we want to detect and put them in a 3D environment. With Replicator Toolkit, we can add domain randomization, basically randomly scattering objects, changing light sources, textures, etc. With an RTX graphics card, we can then produce tens of thousands of path-traced, high-fidelity images in a few hours. They can even be automatically perfectly labeled. This works great for small contained environments. But if our scene is, say, a city street, creating realistic variation becomes challenging. Enter Generative AI. NVIDIA has released Cosmos Predict that can generate images or even video clips based on our text prompts. We just need to describe what we want to see. What sets Cosmos apart from Sora, Vio or other diffusion models? If we prompt Sora to create training material, we typically get something like this. It looks great, but it doesn't feel like a real factory. Scene composition is hard to control and it's hard to maintain consistency across multiple videos. Cosmos Predict, on the other hand, creates something that immediately looks useful. It has been trained on millions of hours of curated videos, mainly for robotics and autonomous vehicles, with a strong focus on physics, action and consequences. Should we have niche needs, model checkpoints are available for fine-tuning. Cosmos Predict is hosted at build.nvidia.com, where we can experiment with a limited set of its capabilities. Predict comes in two sizes, 2 billion and 14 billion parameters. I can run the 2 billion text to image model locally on my RTX 5090, as it has 32 gigabytes of video RAM. But for the 14 billion and video generation, I rent GPU, for instance, at Lambda Cloud. Either way, I recommend using the provided Cosmos Predict Docker image to hopefully avoid driver and library incompatibilities. Check the detailed article for step-by-step -step instructions. With the Docker container running, we can start generating images with text-to-image. And when we are comfortable with prompting, we can take advantage of incrementing or randomizing the inference feed to create infinite variations. We can define batches to avoid having to load the model for each image. And we can even use large language models to generate variation of prompts for even more output variation. I use this to generate 6,000 unique images with great variation, more than enough to train a robust object detection model. The downside of Cosmos Predict is that it has no way of labeling our objects of interest. Fortunately, great advancements are being made in open vocabulary object detection models. For instance, with Grounding Dino, we can describe the objects we're interested in and generate labeled bounding boxes. Dino 1.0 is open source and can be run 100% locally, 
while Dino 1.5 and Dino X have better performance but are commercial products available as APIs. Let's finish by creating some video clips. Technically, we don't need movement for object detection as we'll just be extracting each frame and processing them individually. However, creating movement is a great way to make sure we cover a lot of angles with small increments. Also, object tracking is the next big thing for Edge AI on constrained devices. So synthetic training videos might become even more relevant in the near future. For video to world, we supply a text description of what we want to see, together with an image that will be the first frame. Text to world is almost the same as video to world, except we only provide a text description. Behind the scenes, text to image is used to generate an image that will be passed on with the text to video to world. In my use cases, I have had the best results by first using text to image with batching, picking the best results and then running a separate batch processing with video to world with simplified prompts. Using the largest models for both image and video generation created a lot of strange results. My best results have been using 14 billion parameter model for image generation and 2 billion for video. This probably depends on the use case, so my advice is to start with the smallest models and work upwards until you have satisfactory results. Check out the article in the video description where I go into much more details and features and go build something cool.